All right, hey everybody, good morning. Um, so, have you rebooted your relationship recently? You know, the, the, the power, you know, hearing the, term, the phrase, um, you know, have you tried rebooting it, right? It's become pretty common. It's kind of like you, you call up tech support and I was there for a long time and you call tech support and you ask them, hey, you know, um, I'm having this problem, this is what's going on. And the first question, right, that you almost inevitably get is, have you tried rebooting it? So my question for you today is, what if you applied the power of a reboot to your relationship? All right, this is Live Intentionally with John and Sandy. I'm John. Uh, first off, if you notice, it's a little different for me today. My laptop is in the shop, and I've got kind of a uh, <laughs> interesting mix trying to make this work today and broadcast to all of our pages. So um, if you notice my eyes kind of jumping back and forth between the iPad and the iPhone, it's my brain still trying to adjust to, uh, to having all of this in place. So it's a little different for me. And I think that the iPad positioning is not the best and you guys are like staring at my nose and uh, the ceiling. So anyway, that's, uh, that's where we're at. So what I want to do is just talk a little bit about, you know, Sandy and I have been doing this 90 day challenge for each other that we started back on my birthday on June 1st. And we've, um, we've really been committing to what, what do we do in our relationship, just 90 days of just pure commitment to our relationship and taking it to the next level. And Sandy and I work together and uh, that opens up some interesting challenges because there's a definite difference in the, in the energies that we have when we are just ourselves and we're together and when we're focused on business and how do we best serve our clients, how do we best bring you know, light and hope and healing to people, it's a different set of energy because in one, you're, you're just, you're enjoying the person that you're with and the other one, you're really focused on, okay, what do, what do we need to get accomplished and, and how, do we, how do we build this together? And for a lot of us, right, that's the case. Even if you don't work directly in your partner in a business relationship, right, a lot of us were in these situations where we start dealing with um, children or even the, the, the dogs or the cats or the pets or the house or all the household maintenance that needs to be done. And it can throw us into a state where we aren't in our best situation, right? And there's other events in our life that happen that can throw us out of the polarity that we really want. So how do we do a reboot? of polarity. Because if we don't reboot, right, what happens? We get desensitized and we almost get callous to the way that things are. And all of a sudden we can fall into patterns. We can fall into patterns that we're waking up and we're responding the same way. The same triggers come in. We respond the same way. The same reaction comes out. And it may guarantee predictability. And for some, we may, at a, at a level, we may think, well, I get some certainty out of this. You know, I know what's going to happen. I, if, if I react differently, I don't know what's going to happen. It could be positive or it could be more negative. And a lot of times we'll lock into a level simply because we think, well, if I do the same thing, I'm going to get the same result. And at least that's not lower than what I thought it would be before. But unfortunately, we can stay in these patterns for a very long time. I can personally attest to that. And we begin to allow our circumstances to dictate our state. And that's not going to help us at all, right? That's not going to get us to where we need to be. So what are the things that we can do to shift this? All right, the first thing that I really recommend that you do is we, we teach our clients this practice called AAA. And AAA is basically being aware, acknowledging, and accepting. So the first thing is awareness. It's just what's going on, how do I feel about it, and then acknowledging how you feel about it, the feelings that are stirred up. Um, you know, I noticed when my partner does this, uh, I feel like they abandon me or they drop me or I feel like I'm, I'm alone, I'm lonely. I, I, you know, I feel lonely when this happens. And so uh, being aware of those feelings is the first step that allows us to figure out, well, what's really going on? And then acknowledging it. This could be acknowledging it to yourself by writing it down in a journal. It could be acknowledging it by sharing it with a friend or someone that you trust. But basically, who am I acknowledging this with? And that kind of makes it real. It kind of solidifies it because it goes from just being this ethereal thought in our head to now we're speaking it or we're writing it and we're making it real and we're giving it a little bit more consistency. And then finally, accepting it. 
Now, I want to be really, really clear with this because if you're in a relationship and something's going on where you are being abused, you're being cheated on, something's going, this does not, absolutely does not mean, well, I'm just going to accept abuse. I'm going to accept this emotional abuse or physical abuse or whatever else is going on. It does not mean that at all. But it does mean the situation that I'm in, I'm, I'm accepting it without judgment. I am in a situation that I'm accepting that I'm in the situation. I'm not going to judge myself. I'm not going to judge other people. I'm going to accept it for what it is. Now, second step, where do you move from there, right? So the, the next step is it's important to have a vision and focus on what you want as opposed to what you don't want, right? A, a lot of times, and sometimes we have to start with, well, what do I not want to figure out what I want? But if we're in a position where all we're saying, well, I don't want that, I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this, we're putting a lot of energy into the things that we don't want. So what if we shift that? What if we shifted it to what do I want? What's that vision of the future? What's the vision of where I really want this to be? And understanding with clarity where you want your focus to be and what you really desire to come out of this. And the, the beauty of this, the beauty of doing this is it gives us something to focus on, right? So we're focusing on what we want as opposed to what we don't want. And it's a little interesting because we're still accepting, we aren't judging ourselves for the situation that we're in, right? And a lot of times if this is something minor, like, uh, man, I really wish that uh, my, my partner would cook more. I'd love to come home and have a fresh cooked meal every week. That would be fantastic to me, right? Every night coming home to a fresh cooked meal. Uh, by the way, baby, I'm not hinting that, but uh, we're just an example. But um, so say we're, we're feeling that, like I want to come home and have a fresh cooked meal every week. And, well, you know, that's what I want. That's my vision. If it's not happening right now, I'm accepting it, right? And this is, this is there's all kinds of things we teach our clients that you kind of give it a weight. But then obviously we go to the bigger things where we say, you know, this is maybe not, a, I mean, understanding the situation I'm in, I'm accepting I'm in this situation, but it's not acceptable for this to continue any further. So again, spectrum on that. But what's the vision? Focus on what you want, right? That's going to give you something to get clarity around of where you're going to move towards. And then really recommend changing your state, right? And that may involve getting your, your energy level up, right? Not necessarily rah, 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 I'm getting my energy level up, but just you know, thinking more positively, opening up your heart to love. What do you love? What can you be grateful for? That's a huge one that you can always tap into. Gratitude is absolutely huge. It could be a change in your environment just to get you, make it a little easier for you to change your state. Doesn't mean you have to go move away and meditate on a mountain for a year, but you know, what can you do to shift your environment, shift things up a little bit and change it. And you know, Sandy and I did this over the weekend by, uh, we took three days, and we still had some, we still had some client interactions and some commitments that we had to, uh, to our clients, but we took three days that we didn't talk about the business and it just allowed us to kind of reshift re and reset the state that we were in and just truly enjoy, you know, enjoy being with each other. And, uh, you know, I, I, we love each other so much and it's just beautiful to be able to be in that space and just enjoy each other, right? Not have this business or something else going on. And then finally, the last step is just observe what shifts, right? When you do this, when you change your state, right? So now I'm, I'm changing my state either through my environment and bringing my energy level up, I'm getting more energized. What changes? What changes when you have clarity of focus of where you want to be, you change your state and now you're bringing more energy into the situation and you're, you're just seeing what changes. Again, it doesn't mean I'm going to feel guilty or judge myself if it doesn't you know, immediately go to a new situation. But I think you'll be amazed if you give this a try. What can change in your relationship? And then just being committed to it. Um, like I said, Sandy and I have a 90-day challenge. Where we're, if you'd love to hear more, um, go to quick.callwithjohnhall.com. I'll put that in the post. So yeah, go to quick.callwithjohnhall.com. You can set up a little bit of time. We can share a little bit more about what that is. But, uh, you know, just give yourself a commitment. I'm going to commit to 30 days or, or um, you know, 60 days, 90 days, right? Give it a commitment that I'm going to do this and I'm going to see what comes out of it. I promise you, you'll be amazed by the results. So if you aren't happy with where you're at, try rebooting your relationship. All right. Well, you all have a fantastic Monday. Uh, take care and see you tomorrow.